Thought has shape. Real, tangible, dimensional shape. Thoughts have shape. What if I told you your thoughts weren't abstract? Your memories weren't just flickers of electricity dancing randomly through your brain. That consciousness itself has structure, literal, dimensional form. Because in 2017, a team of researchers working on the Blue Brain Project, a cutting-edge neuroscience initiative, made a discovery that shattered everything we thought we knew about the mind. They found that neurons don't just fire randomly. They don't just spark like static. They build formations, geometric shapes that grow in complexity depending on the task at hand. Pyramids, spirals, tetrahedrons, seven-dimensional scaffolds, eight-dimensional tunnels, even 11-dimensional structures appearing, flickering, collapsing, as though it's self-unfolding. So let's repeat that. Thought has shape. Real, tangible, dimensional shape. When you remember something, when you process pain, when you make a choice, your brain builds a geometric structure to hold that moment in place. Your decisions are not just chemical, they are architectural. Your brain are not just chaos, they are pattern renaissance. And your consciousness is not just awareness, it is sacred geometry moving through form. You are not thinking randomly. You are building temples in your mind every time you remember who you are. In those temples, they are not metaphysical. They are real. Every thought you think builds a shape in space, a shape that exists and collapses, and is recorded not in a page, but in the sacred structure of the cosmos. The universe remembers you, not by name, not by your bank account, and not by your opinion but by the shape you made in it. This is why truth matters, because when your thoughts are in harmony with divine structure, they resonate across dimensions, they last, they echo. And when your thoughts are out of sync, distorted, chaotic, corrupted by lies, they collapse, they vanish, they die before they even finish forming. So you see now, you're not just thinking, you're sculpting, you're composing, weaving your soul through dimensional space. So the question isn't, what do you believe? The real question is, what shape does your belief take in eternity?